So as you can see today, it's a Tennessee blizzard. We hardly ever get any snow in Tennessee. And when we do, everybody freaks out, everything closes down. But of course, people's heat still goes out on a day like this. So today we got a service call and I'm hoping the roads are gonna be good enough. I'm not gonna take the van because it is two wheel drive. So I'm gonna take my truck. Uh, so I just gotta grab some tools and I guess a few parts. And hopefully I have what I need. We'll go from there. Let's do some work. This video is sponsored by RLS, original, patented, proven. And by Diversitech, helping you simplify your work. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a few things, miscellaneous parts. Uh, let's see here, transformer. Ooh, it's cold. A couple different heat sequencers. Uh, I'll do a single double pole contactor. It's a heat pump system, so I don't have to worry about any kind of pressure switches or anything. So that's good for now. Uh, let's see here. I think that's going to be good. I'll grab a thermostat just to be safe. Uh, should do it. Grab some tools and it should be good. Woo. Hands are freezing. Woo. All right, so hopefully I have everything I need because I probably shouldn't be running this call to begin with but it's in town, so. And they only got one system. So I need to get out there, see what I can do at least to get them going. Uh, they told me the year is only a couple of years old. So obviously it being this cold outside today is 15 degrees, but it feels like I think two degrees is what it said. So um, obviously a standard heat pump system is not gonna operate at this temperature, or it shouldn't be rather. Um, so even going into emergency uh, heat, it's not working. So obviously it would have automatically switched over. So that's why it's not maintaining, but I'm gonna go there obviously and just work on the uh, electric heat side, not even worry about the heat pump. Um, just go from there. This is cool, everybody's up here. Uh, there's a good little hill. So everyone's slaying down the hill. If you can see it, everyone has their sleds. That is cool. It's a good little hill on both sides. Nice. switch into these so I don't get my boots all in their house. Let's see, let's just take flashlight, meter, and take the drill. This. I got it, now see it, it went down to 59 when I put it on emergency heat. Okay, so. And I turned it back to regular heat. And gotcha. And which not a whole lot, but. <laughs> Let's see if this thing is wired in right. Uh, W2, it's good. Emergency heat is brown. Okay. Yeah, let me see if we got a good connection at the air handler. Oh, this is plenty of space. We're good. Thank you.
goodness. OSHA approved. Woo, okay, well, luckily that was a simple fix. Um, so apparently this customer had their, uh, re their thermostat replaced recently, uh, I guess this summer. <laughs> So obviously someone was in there disconnecting the low bolt wire for whatever reason. And uh, that was it, man. Simple fix. That's awesome. Because they're an elderly couple. That's the only system they had. Um, so I'm glad that it was a simple fix where we can get them up and running. They're good to go. But uh, yeah, so what I tell my customers, when it's this cold outside and they have a conventional heat pump, I tell them to just click it over at emergency heat and leave it there until the temperature gets above freezing outside and it stays that way. Then click it back over to normal heat mode. Um, I know the, the, the units these days are better than what they used to be, but I don't know. I just don't like the fact of that, that outside unit running in this snow and ice and, um, and it being this cold, it's constantly going in and out of defrost. So let me know what you think, depending on where you, uh, where you are. Is that something that you guys do? Or do you say, hey, run it no matter what? I'm just curious, because I've kind of heard it both ways. It's just a personal thing of mine, I guess. I just really like to click it over to emergency heat when it's really cold and icy and snowy outside. But anyway, easy fix, fun adventure driving over here. This was a lot of fun. Um, I'm just gonna drive back and hopefully be, I'll be safe on the way back. and. I'm more worried about people wrecking into me than I am wrecking myself. So, especially here in Tennessee, no one knows how to drive. But anyway, hope you guys liked the video. You got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Really appreciate you being here, taking the time to watch these videos. See you on the next one.